As long as the West lives in epic deed and epic story, so long will the memory of the last wagon live in your heart and mind. West as your eyes can see, and then some canyon of death. The Indians say you can hear cries in the night down there that you'll hear all your life. It'll be eight or ten days to water if you live to see it. And I ain't saying any of us will. And that was the start of an incredible trek through the awesome canyon of death, through hardships that tried men's souls, through bloodthirsty Apache ambush, for the strangest band of adventurers fate ever threw together. This is Comanche Todd. Don't be fooled by the color of his eyes and his skin. He may be white, but inside he's all Comanche. Live with him 20 years of his own choosing. And I say any Indian loving white who chooses Comanches against his own kind is no good. You act so clean and, and think so dirty. Ah, uh, dirty? Yes. Like when you say Indian lover and make it sound so filthy. It was something filthy when my father took your mother as his woman. I suppose you think that was clean. A white man and a Navajo squaw sneaking off up some dark wash in the night like a pair of animals. I'm not going back to the wagon. If it's to be our last night, I, I want to spend it here with you. The last wagon. You lived in it. You fought in it. You loved in it, and sometimes you died in it. Yeah.